2021 marks CTS Corporation's 125th anniversary, and we want to showcase our rich heritage. We are inspired to work together, to rededicate ourselves to continuing to deliver solutions for a better, safer, and healthier world. Our history is one filled with innovations that have enabled many of the technological advances that make today's modern society possible. And that spirit of innovation will propel us into the next 125 years. CTS is a dynamic company that has evolved over time by keeping pace with rapidly changing technologies and customer needs. Our ability to strategically identify these changes and apply our technical expertise to help accelerate them are a core part of our DNA. Of course, all of which would not be possible without our dedicated teams and talent. CTS was founded in 1896 by a father and son duo who supplied telephone kits out of their garage. When the basic Bell telephone patents expired in the mid-1890s, A.J. Briggs and his son George stepped in to fill the competitive void. With an initial investment of $212, the Briggs created the Chicago Telephone Supply Company. In the early years, we provided telephones, switchboards, and accessories for the rapidly expanding turn-of-the-century telephone market. CTS focused on providing the highest quality construction and gave a certificate of guarantee with every telephone set. As our reputation grew, the business followed, and within 25 years, CTS had expanded to a new corporate headquarters in Elkhart, Indiana, that housed a team of 250 employees. Today, we've grown to over 3,500 employees and 16 facilities worldwide. In October of 1920, KDKA, the nation's first radio station, was introduced to the American public. One and a half years later, there were over 200 licensed radio stations around the country. Recognizing the radio boom during its early stages, we moved quickly to diversify into this growing field. By 1922, over one half of CTS's total sales came from radio components. Our participation in the radio industry led to the company's first line of variable resistors, a product line that would eventually enable further diversification. CTS's rapid expansion in radio was paused unexpectedly during World War II. In April of 1942, the U.S. government ordered a halt to all civilian radio production. Our teams worked hard to find suitable products to manufacture in support of the war effort. We played an invaluable role in the war, manufacturing the RM-29, a remote telephone field set that provided a communication link with the front line, and the RLB potentiometer, which enabled radar and fighter planes that gave the Allies the ability to perform bombing missions at night. In recognition of CTS's efforts, we were honored to receive four Army-Navy production awards. CTS has carried forward its strong presence in aerospace and defense to the current day. When the war ended and troops returned home, a new craze began, the television. As one of the largest producers of variable resistors, CTS blossomed during the TV boom. We doubled sales every six to eight years from the end of the war through the late 60s and reinvested the profits to expand our footprint and our product portfolio. Our teams remain diligent about understanding major trends and identifying disruptive technologies before they took hold. In 1961, Basil Turner, a CTS board member, wrote, It would be difficult to exaggerate the achievements that will be made in electronics during this space age. We made significant investments in search of new materials to make resistors stable and efficient enough for newly introduced computers. Our breakthrough came in the form of CERMET, a ceramic metallic resistor line that marked our entry into the data processing markets. Millions of CTS's miniature blue bricks would be built into computers over the next few decades, and CTS was officially a player in the high-tech industry. The acquisition of the James Knight Company in 1964 broadened our portfolio to include quartz crystals, and the new subsidiary further accelerated our growth. In 1960, we officially renamed ourselves CTS Corporation to accurately reflect our evolution and diversification. On June 4, 1962, CTS was first traded on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. The footprint continued to expand, and a new executive team took the reins. Throughout the 1970s, the American economy experienced intense pressure from lower-cost, high-quality Japanese imports. 
CTS's primary market, consumer electronics, was hit particularly hard. The erosion of this domestic market forced us to make critical strategic decisions that would positively impact the company's future over the long term. First, CTS expanded its geographic presence by establishing operations in Taiwan and Mexico. These moves opened new markets and gave us a balanced labor supply. Additionally, we expanded our commercial focus to new end markets, including the growing field of automotive engine controls, a segment that remains part of our core today. Throughout the 1980s and into the 1990s, CTS faced repeated takeover bids. These challenges forced us to sharpen our strategic focus and take aggressive action to improve growth and profitability. As a result, we banked heavily on international expansion and completed facility extensions in Mexico, Singapore, Scotland, Canada, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. These extensions were intended to serve local markets with locally manufactured products, local for local, rather than sourcing products back to the United States. This period marked CTS's most significant push into the global marketplace. In addition, we reinforced our commitment to quality with the implementation of the Back to Basics set of programs, excellence in quality, cost savings, and delivery. Beginning in the mid-90s, CTS embarked on a targeted yet aggressive strategy to leverage acquisitions to accelerate our company's growth. During the last 25 years, we have acquired companies that carried us into many of the important markets that form our core today, including piezoelectric ceramics, automotive sensors, frequency control products, and temperature sensors. We remain committed to a balanced mix of organic and external growth investments to expand our innovative sensing, connectivity, and motion solutions, and look forward to welcoming more organizations to the team in the years to come. Over the last 125 years, CTS has positioned itself at the forefront of the technological innovations that have driven the rapid pace of change in modern society. Our focus on technologies that sense, connect, and move are enabling advances in automotive efficiency and intelligence, industrial productivity, medical innovation, and 5G communications. Together with our customers, we look forward to seeing what the next 125 years bring. We are proud of our legacy. We remain committed to carrying our guiding principles into the future. Play to win, responsiveness, simplicity and solution-oriented. To all of our valued employees, current and past, that have made our story so compelling, we sincerely thank you for your support and we are honored to have you as part of our rich history.